Okay, what I'm going to show you here is the um, the biodiesel mixing uh, setup that we got here. We've got two 330 gallon totes stacked one on top of the other. As you can see the top one is for the gravity feeding of the oil into the tank here. Okay, and it's about half full now. We've already mixed up a few batches this morning so we're just now getting around to making the video. Anyway, you don't have to have a setup like this, but it just makes it nicer for doing a large production or a fast uh, production. We can actually produce 25 gallons of biodiesel every 15 minutes off this system. You can see that there's a valve here at the bottom of the tank going through a 2 inch hose set up with cam locks and of course this goes over to the tank and then the tank has a welded uh, opening into it so that we can drop the oil in it. Now the oil is being heated up right now and we want to bring the temperature of the oil up to about 150 degrees okay and uh, to check that Josh would you do this? Okay. To check that we're going to use a little uh, uh, thermometer here it's a little handheld one with a little case on it. Pull it out of the case and uh, you stick it down in the oil and it'll tell you what the temperature is. And it's going up uh, over 160. Well, we're plenty hot right now, so we're going to turn the, the unit off. And on this tank, this is a hot water tank that has two uh, sets of elements in it. As you can see, there was uh, an extra set of elements welded into the unit and there's a couple underneath there and then over here we have a switch for each element which is just a regular wall switch so that we can turn on each set of elements on or off then we come over here and this is our drain which has a molasses uh, uh, valve on it and then it's got a two inch pipe coming out of the bottom of the tank here and it also goes down into another lower valve which goes down to about an inch and a quarter and this is a water trap so when the oil comes down and hits that T to go out any heavier water will end up down in the bottom there to trap the water out of it. He's going to open up the molasses trap right now and we're going to fill up this barrel with 25 gallons of hot hot oil that's good I'm going to go into this this barrel was a little bit dirty but that's okay the hot oil will clean it right up and then the barrel is sitting on a set of rollers as you can see so that we can roll it and we can roll it right over to here and here's our other batches of biodiesel we've already made each one of those is, has 30 gallons in it right now has 25 gallons of hot oil with 5 gallons of methyl hydroxide that we already mixed up and there's our mixer that goes on top of the barrel and uh, as soon as he gets this filled up We'll be back and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, once we poured off the 25 gallons of hot oil, we just filled up the tank again. And we're going to turn on the tank, get that heating up again. And now he's going to take the 5 gallons of methyl hydroxide that we mixed up. And that's going to get poured into the 150 degree oil. Make sure that the temperature of the oil is not over 150 degrees as you could have a very bad reaction. It could, uh, this methyl hydroxide will boil at 160. So you want to stay below that to make sure that you're not going to boil that over on you and have hot oil all over you. Just putting the mixer down into the unit, which is just a disc at the bottom of the mixing apparatus. He's going to plug it in. And you're going to mix this up for about 15 minutes or until the next batch is hot enough to pour off.
Okay, after getting the mixer started, we're going to move the glycerin settling device, which is a couple of stainless steel rods, on this uh, configuration that is being powered by an 8,000 volt neon transformer. And those rods go into the barrel now. He's going to turn it on. He's going to check it to make sure it's uh, working here. Keep doing that. See it sparking? Okay, so we got the uh, voltage there. And what this is going to do is it's going to cause the glycerin to pretty much settle out of this solution within three to five minutes. Which uh, greatly speeds up the process. Now back to mixing up another batch of methyl hydroxide so that by the time the next uh, batch is heated up, which is approximately 15 minutes in between batches, we'll have another five gallons of methyl hydroxide mixed up. And that's really all that's to this process, is mixing your methyl hydroxide, heating up the oil, and then mixing the methyl hydroxide into the oil for about 15 minutes, and then just letting it settle and you have biodiesel. Most of these barrels have markings on the side. These are 30 gallon drums, plastic, and they have markings on the side showing you where the 25 gallon mark is. And there it is on this one. It's about an inch above the second band, which there's two bands on the side of this drum. Let's try to zoom out here. There's two bands on the side. It's about an inch above the second band up. And that makes it easy to figure out how much 25 gallons is. Here we're filling up the tank again with the clean vegetable oil. This is oil that's been allowed to settle so that it's clear. There's no creamy stuff in it. And we'll get the tank filled up and then we'll turn the switches back on and heat this batch up to 150 degrees.